Hey guys, how's it going? I have an absolutely amazing video to for you guys today. We are taking a look at Tiger Woods Golf Swing in 2003. Now, this is a pretty unique golf swing to take a look at. Um, first of all, Tiger's swing has changed a huge amount over the years, and I'm actually going to be doing another video for you guys, taking a look at his swing throughout his career from basically every single year to see how it's evolved to how it is now. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on Tiger Woods golf swing in 2003. I've got some incredible looks at it for you guys. So let's jump straight in and start taking a look. Here we have Tiger Woods set up with a long iron. Looks like he's on some sort of par four, I believe, but really, really good look at his golf swing. First of all, setup position. I wouldn't say Tiger's setup has changed that much. Probably the thing that's changed the least actually over the years. Pretty similar setup to how he is now. Pretty neutral, great posture, uh, nice and relaxed in the lower body. Love that. As we slowly take the club back, we're going to see Tiger keep that beautiful wide takeaway. Love that position. Uh, again, pretty good takeaway. Nicely taken away with the body using the chest, arms and pivoting the lower body to take the club away instead of most of us, most amateurs, take the club away with our hands and arms. And that's a really important fundamental to try and get into is actually taking the club away with your body, not your hands and arms. And it's something that if you guys have seen my videos before, I talk about a lot because it's quite important and a lot of the best players in the world pretty much all do it. So as we start to take the club to the top, it's going to keep that big turn. Now the arms are actually going to move slightly up as we pause it at the top. They get just above the shoulder plane. Now there's a few little subtle differences here um, to his new swing as it is now, but I'll be more talking about the differences in a separate video, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And if you have any thoughts on Tiger Swing in this video, comment down below, I reply to all of your comments. But love this position. He gets the club probably uh, quite down the line really actually. I would guess this is about a four iron, something like that. Um, very nicely loaded into that right hip, big shoulder turn, hands just above the shoulder plane. Uh, that right elbow is quite far away from the body, right arm is quite deep, the arms are quite deep in general actually. And as we start to play this down, he's going to shallow out the club quite quickly actually. The arms and hands are going to drop back down, keeping a lot of width though as he starts to rotate. And if we pause it here, parallel to the ground, we can see hips nicely open, that left side starting to clear, keeping a lot of width with the, uh, with the arms and the club, which is really important as well. And uh, also another thing to mention, his right arm at this position is quite far away from his body, it looks like, kind of interesting. Uh, the club face is also slightly more open, which is going to play into a bit of a trend we see in Tiger's uh, swing throughout this 2003 golf swing video, which is that he has quite a big release of the golf club. As we slowly play it through to impact, he's going to release really hard if we pause it at impact. A few things to note, open hips, open shoulders. Um, he started to really jump up off the ground, really use the ground nicely. That right arm has extended now down into the ball. And as we play this through, he's going to start to continue to release the ha hands and arms in front of him and up above. Gets them really high at this point here. Really releases them high above the left shoulder, another interesting thing which might change when we have a look at some of the other golf swings in some of the other years or how it is now. So let's just play that through uh, just one or once or twice for you guys to take a look at. I believe this was kind of a nice high draw. So first of all, yeah, really beautiful wide swing. There's a lot of rhythm to this golf swing actually, a lot of rhythm going on. It relies on quite a lot of timing in the sequencing and release of the hands and arms, certainly more than we might see in some other years. But overall, beautiful golf swing. Let's now have a look with driver. This is such a good look to have a look at Tiger with driver. And also he absolutely smokes this one. So setup again, not too much else to mention. Looks like he's got a little bit more knee bend, 
hips may be sitting a little bit further back, maybe weight a bit more in the heels here. Quite interesting that. As we take the club away, big wide takeaway if we pause it parallel to the ground, club head outside the hand, love to see that. Something we notice with is, with is uh, in a lot of players we take a look at is they get the club head outside the hand, helps them keep more width and they tend to set the wrists a little bit later. And we can see Tiger here is already starting to turn the shoulders and hips. As we take it to the top, it's gonna get that club very deep that right elbow, quite a long swing actually, if we pause it at the top. Uh, right elbow comes out and away from him. Um, there's a few reasons. I kind of want to do a different video about the use of your shoulders in the golf swing and how to load the right shoulder in the top of the golf swing. Um, probably do a separate video about that. So if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments down below because Tiger is uh, kind of showing a good example of it here. Uh, also, if we look at the lower body, nicely loaded into that right side, like to see that. You can see most of his weight and pressure going through that right heel, really like to see that. Nice pivot and turn uh, with the lower body and upper body, big shoulder turn. Club gets quite long, but as we start to slowly play it down, he is going to drop the hands and arms very, very quickly, get them back out in front of him. And if we pause it, well, if we pause it just just after impact here. We can see really how hard Tiger goes at the ball with the lower body firing those hips so hard. When I do the video with Ty all of Tiger's goal swings from like 2000 all the way to now, I will t tell you a little bit more of a backstory about uh, some tendencies Tiger has in his golf swing. There's some really important things to understand that Tiger's worked on and struggled with and has, well, has worked on basically throughout his entire career to do with his hips and also his arms and sequencing in the golf swing. But we can see hips and shoulders open to the target. We can see he's fully extended the arms in this position through the ball. Also a very big release of the hands and arms and that right heel has come up off the ground and from here if we play it through he's going to really release the club face hard hands get very high over that left shoulder something that might be a little bit different now and if we keep playing it through classic tiger woods club twirl absolutely love love to see it so now guys we have two more clips for you which are absolutely awesome clips because they actually show Tiger Woods in 2003. One is him hitting a draw and one is him hitting a fade. And you guys, if you follow my channel, you'll actually know that recently I did a video on Tiger Woods in 2020 uh, hitting a draw and a fade, which was a really good look. Highly recommend checking out that video. And the differences in Tiger's swing of how he would hit a draw and a fade. And this is another really good look. And there are some similarities. So now let's have a look at the draw video first of Tiger in 2003. As we, well, first of all, set up perfectly down the line view this. Uh, pretty neutral setup, uh, a kind of alignment is all perfectly in alignment, really nice. Again, a bit more knee bend than we might see in his swing currently. But as we take the club back, again, beautiful wide swing, keeps it nicely in front of him, keeping the hands and arms nicely in front of the body if we pause it parallel to the ground, really like that position. Uh, gets the club face a bit more open than we might see him do in the modern swing. But as we start to take it to the top, he's going to keep that club a little bit, if we pause it at the top, the hands are a little bit lower, a little bit lower to the shoulder plane, keeps the face a bit square, because he is trying to hit a draw here, remember guys. So he wants that face a little bit square, hands a little bit lower, supporting the weight of the club a little bit more underneath it. But if we look at the body, beautiful pivot and turn, nothing really looks like it's changed there. Mostly just the arm structure and hand position, and probably as we play it down, we'll see some differences too. As we slowly play this down, hands and arms go drop, keeps the width really nicely and closes the face a little bit earlier here and keeps the obviously the club head a little bit more inside if we slowly play it down onto the ball, pause it at impact, we can see the path is going a little bit into out, trying to hit that draw. I believe this was kind of like a really nice high baby draw, really nice there. Love the position of the body at this point, has a lot of space, open hips, open chest, really good posture here as well. He has released 
the arms uh, quite, mm, not early, but he definitely releases them earlier in 2003 than he might do currently, which we will have a look at in a future video. Um, big release of the hands and arms if we play this through, really lets that toe release over and again finishes with the arms releasing very high over that left shoulder of his beautiful classic tiger finish position. Now let's have a look at the fade. Tiger's going to the exact same target, so he's opened his stance up a little bit. Uh, so we're not quite as down the line, which will affect the view a little bit, so we just have to bear that in mind, just only a little bit. Setup, otherwise very similar, very neutral, like to see that. As we take the club back, as uh, we pause it parallel to the ground, looks like he gets the face uh, even more open with this uh, trying to hit fade, not surprising there. And as we play it to the top, also looks like maybe hands are a tiny bit higher and club face is a little bit more open, a little bit more laid off. But now is where we're going to see the main differences. As he comes down, he's going to come down a little bit more over the top, a little bit steeper down onto the ball, kind of cutting across it. If we pause it just after impact, we can see he's kind of holding that face open a little bit more. He's not letting the club release so much out to the right. He's kind of staying on top of it. Weight is a little bit more left and he's cutting across it, holding the face open as we come through. Definitely keeps the face a little bit more open, but still finishes with the hands and arms nicely high above that left shoulder. Let's just have a look at those two swings back to back again, so you guys can see a direct comparison, draw versus fade. Uh, basically, the main differences are really in the downswing, a little bit top of the backswing position as well, but mainly in the downswing, Tiger with the draw gets a little bit more inside, releases the club a little bit earlier and a little bit more. With the fade, he kind of keeps the club face slightly more open, comes down a little bit across it, and holds the face open a little bit more. But other than that, there are quite small differences. He may be changing his ball position a little bit too, I would probably say, but other than that, pretty minor differences. Now let's have a look at one more driver swing and then we're gonna have a look at a front on driver swing and we will call it a day. So this driver swing, 2003, again, we've already had a look at a driver so we don't really need to see the setup too much. As we take it back, pause it parallel to the ground, Again, we can see club head outside the hands. No surprise there. Club face is quite open. Definitely keeps it more square in kind of the modern game and later in his career. As we take it to the top, huge width. Like to see that. We can see from this position how that right elbow is pretty much at 90 degrees. Doesn't really bend much more than that. Really good to see that. Has huge high hands, good width with the left arm keeping the club far away as possible in the wider swing arc. Uh, we can see he's again loaded into that right heel, loaded into that right side, like to see that, really using the ground very nicely. And remember at this point, Tiger was probably one of the longest players, or if not the longest player on the PGA Tour in terms of driving distance. And as we slowly play it down, he's gonna squat down into the ground as he shallows the club. Look at that right elbow coming down back in front of him. If we pause it parallel to the ground, this is a really good look. We can actually see how open that club face is. That is more, definitely more old school. You, that would be a perfect old school position with the face, the kind of toe pointing straight up in the air. Modern players like to get that face squarer earlier, and that's why uh, Tiger's gonna have to release the hands and arms a lot more, a lot earlier in the swing. But we can still see from this position how much uh, he's really clearing that left hip, the left side of his body. Looks like a lot of pressure going through that kind of left knee and everything as well. As we slowly release the club down into impact, we pause it at impact, you can kind of see how much he's really had to release the club with the hands and arms in such a short space of time, with that right arm really extending really hard into the ball as he swings through. This looks like it was a nice little draw, and he releases the club hard, and the hands finishing really high, up over that left shoulder again in that classic kind of tiger finish. Now guys we have one more look to take a look at, it is a front on driver swing so let's slow this down and take a look. 
And setup, first of all, classic setup, ball position inside the left heel, hand slightly behind, nothing too interesting to talk about there. If we slowly play this back, keeps the club head beautifully wide and away from him if we pause it parallel to the ground. I love to see that. You can see how wide he's keeping that club head away from him, how little wrist set he has as we slowly take it to the top. Beautiful position. That club is almost perfectly parallel. Well, it basically is perfectly parallel with the ground. Really nice position. You can see why a lot of people study Tiger's golf swing and have done for a lot of years. And he's also worked with some of the best golf coaches in the world. So as we slowly play this down, well, we can first of all see at the top here, he's very loaded into that right side, right hip and everything. As we slowly play this down, he's going to really shift that pressure and weight onto the left side, lateral movement there as he swings down, keeping the club nice and wide, releasing the hands really hard. If we pause it just before impact here. It's a great look. Tiger coming through super shallow, really releasing with the hands and arms hard. You can see he's already cleared the hips and everything like that. Head staying back as he releases through the ball. We can see how hard he's extending those arms, releasing the club up and over his shoulder in that huge balanced uh, rotated Tiger Woods finish position. So guys, that is Tiger Woods golf swing in 2003. What do you guys think about that? There's some really good looks there, some really perfect videos to take a look at of Tiger hitting driver, irons, draws, fades, everything front on down the line. Make sure you do give this video a like if you have enjoyed it. If you have noticed anything I missed out on, anything you think I should have mentioned, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I reply to all of your comments. Let me know also what uh, what you think of Tiger Woods swing in 2003. Is there another year that you think, you know, what do you think was Tiger's best year in terms of his swing? Was it 2000? A lot of people say 2002. That's when he had his lowest scoring average. So a lot of people maybe say that is the best golf swing. And I've got a few really good looks from 2000, from 2002, 2004, 2006. Loads and loads of videos coming your way, guys. The next uh, one we'll look at Tiger will probably be a comparison between Tiger in 2002, like we, or 2003, like we just had a look at, and Tiger Woods in 2020. Um, obviously, we don't have any videos of him this year because of his unfortunate car accident. So that will be the next Tiger video, and then after that, we'll probably do a Tiger Woods video working our way through the years from like early in Tiger's career to uh, present day and have a look and see how his swing has evolved. So make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel so that you can check out both of those videos and do like this video, comment your thoughts down below. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and grip it and rip it.